Hey guys, it's Sadie, and I want to show you something really cool. Um, okay, so you know I order from Electronic Gold Mine. I used to, they have a lot of high voltage stuff there, and so does Amazon. Like, check this out. I got these off Amazon. These are, is that focus? I can't even tell. Is it even focusing? Um, these are 20 kilovolt, 10 milliamp diodes, and there's 40 of them in there. And there wasn't a bad deal. The stuff I got from Electronic Gold Mine, I got these capacitors, 450 volts, free microfarads. But they obviously they're not the electrolytic. So these are have um, some different capacitors different i think these are the metalized film ones but anyway they um can charge up and charge discharge faster these diodes i got from them electronic gold mine and then these it's cheap stuff and then these are all three kilovolt capacitors and then so i have my ion ray gun that I was working on and I had a great idea this is a kit that is uh, it detects lightning strikes so it has a 9 volt battery in there um, it doesn't use a high voltage circuit but it's extremely sensitive to detect any type of like it basically uses the whole planet is like a you know like a ground and then this is the antenna and you can see it's on and there i made a switch and the box is way bigger you could put a different antenna on it if you wanted to but this is i made it that's what it came with but that kit is from electronic gold mine which is which i like so much um I used to order from Information Unlimited, but they do not like transgender people there. Um, so they're just difficult to deal with. And so I, um, Jamico is good. Altronics are good. Mauser is good. Um, but I do like Electronic Gold Mine. And then, of course, Amazon. This is another thing that I got off Amazon. And this is, like, you can just see, I, the only downside to this is I don't like how this, um, these leads are kind of wonky out of there. I mean, I guess you could trim them and you got to get the, you got to sand them down or, you know, whatever. I don't like how this, that is. But this makes high voltage really good and, um. I soldered that switch. You can see I soldered that switch on all the time. You just put apply voltage to it, and it and it makes a nice. It, this is a nice little high voltage unit from Amazon, and you can see it just has the switch, which I bypassed, and then the capacitor, a big ass resistor, a nice transistor and then a diode and then very simple but it's I don't know how efficient it is but um, it makes that's what I had in my um, my ion ray gun first off and then I took it out and put in this high voltage circuit which is from one of those plasma globes and it's one of the small cheap ones and I wonder how much I can push the voltage up and I wanted to show you guys sorry I don't have it so I have these in there and those are not double A's those are the um, CR 10440s those are each 3.7 volts so you know maybe I could put a 9 volt onto that so it's a lot easier than before i couldn't get this thing out and um, i either need to start working with wood or 
um, get a 3D printer because you can see how crappy that looks. Uh, let me set it down. Sorry about the. I don't have a good workstation. You can see that I'm in the laundry room because the living room is full of clothes and stuff and wires and the bedroom is full of wires and stuff and dishes and my old college stuff and stuff that belongs in the car and it's not a lot of space in here. So I don't even have room to make porn anymore. It's, it's just, I have no room for videos. So you're going to have to put up with this. But yeah, so I have seven stages here on this. And I was trying to use this to show, I was using this to show you guys um, on that calculator. But I've taught that before where I had, um, the calculator and you just aim the the um, ion the ion ray gun at it and it'll like just when you apply high voltage near a calculator it starts showing all kinds of different weird stuff uh, because it's you're interfering with the circuit but this what the whole point of this go back I wanted to show you guys the stuff I got okay but the whole point of this is I can use the lightning detector with the ion ray gun. Isn't that awesome? It detects it. It detects it. It's so cool. I thought about that and I was like, well, the lightning strike detector, which you can get, which is a kit that um, Electronic Gold Mine sells, but you could probably get it off Amazon. But, um, the company that makes it, I forget the company that makes it, but it's a lightning strike detector. So it's very sensitive to, to detect it, but it's so cool because, look, it's detecting the ions whenever I... So I wonder how far away it can... Look at how far away it can still detect. I wonder how far away we can get with it. It's it's getting a little less. Wow, it's still look at that you guys. That is crazy. That is so awesome. This this lightning detector has been sitting in my car. But look, even though those capacitors might still be charged and then you just so I was, oh look there, see, and then when you touch it, see they're charged, and then I got a little shock as I got close to that. That is so cool, because I wanted to, you know, verify that it was working. And then I did find my high voltage probe, and I measure this and this it goes up to 16 kilovolts so what this probe does is it reduces by 100 like the voltage on on um, what you're measuring so if you put it on here and then this is the this is the ground one I think it's the ground you can just look at the diodes on it. Oh, it beeps. This is gotta get on there. Okay, there, that's on there. Sorry, I don't have a better setup. Like I said, I just have too much stuff everywhere. And I would need a workstation because working on the couch and putting all these parts and soldering in the living room and then soldering in the bedroom and you know I open the window and I have a air filter thing but it's just you know it, I, I just don't have space to do all my creative things it's really frustrating so um okay so let's see we 
I wanted to just, I wanted to measure the voltage on this and then use some diodes too. Like this thing is the microwave transformer. That is a beast. So I don't know. We need to check that out. See, look, just when I touched it to that, it went off. It's really sensitive. Okay, so there's the the end of it. Okay. There. So, uh, it's probably not the greatest idea to do this on the metal washing machine. Just for, it interferes with it. But, you saw it got up to 15. 15. 15.7. So that's 15,700, 15,800 volts from this. And of course it's making the detector go off. Uh, here's another thing I got from electric. So I do want this to be more powerful. I do want that to be more powerful. I want it to be 35, 36, 37 kilovolts. So like double the power of this. So this is just a prototype. I do want more. I do want maybe up to 50 kilovolts. I want it to be a lot uh, more powerful with the voltage. So that being said, I do just need to have more input on there. And then, you know, like I said, I got all these diodes. There's 40... 20 kilovolt diodes here that I got from on Amazon and then I it's harder to find the capacitors it's harder to find the capacitors but I do have from electronic gold mine they do have two types of six kilovolt capacitors of these types um, and I do have some of those but I can't show them to you because I don't know where they are um, here's from electronic gold mine. This is to like backlight some kind of uh, display, and I wanted to measure the voltage on this. But these these little circuits, I got a couple of those to play around with. Oh, one of them's broken. Well, it'll still probably work, but you can see it's broken. That little what is that a uh, inductor? I mean, that's a transformer. That's some kind of inductor. Um, and then the other thing I got is this this kit off Amazon. It this is crazy because this is so this was so cheap. I mean, you could just but it uses that popular LM three one seven that adjustable voltage supply regulator. That's like the most popular in the world voltage supply for little kits. I've seen it so many times over the years. The LM317 adjustable regulator power kit. But look, uh, let's just open it up. But I, I just got this today. And, I, and I'm supposed to work tomorrow. I'm supposed to work tomorrow. In the morning, and I want to stay up and work on this stuff. And I, I hate when I get excited about stuff and my projects, and then I've got to work the next day. Um, so I need to make sure I get sleep. So you can see they've got you, what these are is that's how they're machined or whatever, but that's just. Um, paper on both sides of that that you peel off. So that's a, a curlic. What else? Is that called a curlic? Um, it's just clear box. So that's the box for it. It comes with all this stuff and it was pretty cheap. Um, you know, relatively cheap. You know, people made money off it. They, Amazon made money. The people selling it made money. So wasn't like totally cheap but as far as where else are you going to get something like this nowadays it's so easy back you know 20 years ago 15 years ago you go to radio shack or you get stuff online and you'd have to put money orders 